Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina, and this is a Leo-only channel. Um, cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, um, you could check out my main channel, Tower of Light. I also have a Virgo and Cancer only channel. The link to that is in to all of those are in the description box below. Okay. Um, readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. Uh, my tarot tutorial is 50% off right now for Leo season, and I'm also going to do the sale for Virgo season since I have a Virgo only channel. Um, so it's about two and a half to three hours long. If you're looking to start a YouTube channel or learn how to read tarot, you can check it out. My new tarot and oracle deck are on my website, so you, you could check that out. The link is also below. Okay, happy birthday to all my beautiful Leos. I hope that everyone um is excited about leo season guys i'm feeling very out of breath so i don't know leo if you guys are working out and feeling out of breath or maybe if you guys are smoking or vaping too much or if you're gonna get excited about something and just be out of breath i have no idea but i'm feeling very like <sighs> like i can't catch my breath type of thing <clears throat> so let's see what we have going on for you guys Spirit, tell me about my little lion cubs, please. Spirit, tell me about Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Tell me about my little lion cubs, please. Okay, we have surrender. We've got reconciliation and romantic feelings and unfinished business. I don't know why, but I was only going to choose one and we ended up with four. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo, please. We've got betrayal. And we've got opposition. Tell me about Leo, please. We have relationship. And we've got regret. Oh, okay. Tell me about Leo, please. And we've got drifting with shallow. Okay, so Leo, here's what's happening. Let me tell you what's happening. So you, you have a person here, okay, that is finally accepting the fact that they're in love with you. OK, there's unfinished business here. You you, you know, this person, I'm, I'm going to keep it real with you, Leo. They may not have wanted this relationship with you. They did not expect to fall in love with you. Maybe they were not ready for a, re a relationship when you guys were together. But this person is surrendering to the fact that they miss you, that they love you and that they don't want to lose you. OK, now here's the thing they do they do understand and realize that you are not going to tolerate their bullshit they do realize here that they have hurt you and betrayed you in many ways okay um this person wanted to disconnect from you because they may have felt that being in a relationship with you was too boring okay they may have felt that you know maybe leo you have to understand something, Leo. If you're coming to this person in a healthy uh, way and, and you're not toxic, okay, uh, this person may find that boring. They may find the fact that you don't cheat or yell at them or like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you're just not tolerant of people uh, uh, manipulating your energy right now and you may have cut this person off very quickly. OK, but this person, their goal was to slowly detach from you, sabotage the connection because they're shallow. This person was just looking for friends with benefits or they were just looking for a good time. They weren't looking for a relationship. Do you see what I'm saying, Leo? And now they're regretting it. Be now they're regretting that action and realizing they should have taken that leap of faith and committed to you in this situation because they fucked around and fell in love. That's what happened. 
this person, you know, they didn't want to fall in love. They didn't, but they did. And, and again, there's a sense I, that word boredom in this one card really stuck out to me. And you know who feels bored in relationships? People that are used to drama and toxicity. People that are used to unhealthy relationships. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and throw myself under the bus as being front and center in this because when you're raised in a toxic environment and you have one relationship after the next that's toxic, your view on what love is becomes very distorted. Do you understand? So this could be a person, Leo, um, that maybe, you know, had really toxic relationships or a toxic upbringing and you're coming in and loving them from a very healthy and ascended place and they see that as boring or they see maybe the whole concept of being in a relationship that's monogamous boring. I don't know. Do you understand? Um, but this person messed up and fell in love. That's what they did. And they're, they're just surrendering to it. You know, I can't forget about Leo. I can't stop thinking about Leo. You know, I I'm in love. What am I going to do? I, I have to go back. I have to try to make this work. I know Leo is, you know, not tolerating a bullshit. You know, I know that Leo is not going to deal with me lying or cheating or putting them through any type of emotional, like Leo, you could be sitting in an energy right now where if it doesn't bring you peace and it doesn't bring you prosperity and it doesn't bring you anything good you're just cutting it off you know leo i don't know why i'm getting this vibe where you're sitting in a very ascended and healed place and you're not going to tolerate anybody that it's either meet me up here where i am because you're not going to drag me down to where you are it's not going to happen you can go deuces you know what i'm saying bye felicia you're not dealing with it okay um leo what deck do I want to use for you? Let me think. Let me think. Let me just feel this out. This is what happens when you have too many decks. It gets ridiculous. Okay. It gets ridiculous. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about my little lion cubs, please. So we've got the queen of wands. And we have the four of pentacles. They can't let you go, Leo. They can't let you go. That's the problem. Okay, they want to let you go. I'm, I'm going to make myself clear here. Okay, this person doesn't want a relationship. They don't, they don't, but they can't seem to release you. They can't seem to, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're just all over their heart, their thoughts. Page of Swords and the Hierophant. I feel like this person, you know... That Page of Swords energy could be your person talking to a friend and this person's like, dude, I think that you may have met the one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like someone here may be like, you need to wake up because you're in love, homeboy. Like, I don't know what to tell you, homegirl. You you need, you're, you're sprung. <laughs> like, I don't know that you're whipped. You don't know it yet. You might as well just give into it and start saying yes, dear, or yes, sir, now because you're, you've met the one. So Leo, you know, you're, you're just kind of over here, you know, bye bitch. Like, you know, you're, you're not really putting up with anybody's bull crap right here, you know, cause I'm seeing that hand, the way it's standing up like that. Like, you're just like, okay, peace. You know, you're, you're not really willing to settle for less here, Leo. You know, you're willing to walk away if somebody isn't willing to, you know, meet you eye to eye and ascend and grow up, you're not tolerating it. And this person can't seem to let you go. And it could be a friend that kind of tells this person, listen, dude, you're, you're in love. Like, I don't know, <laughs> you've met the one, you know, you may not want to admit it, you know, with the high priestess and the seven of wands, you may not want to admit it to yourself, you know, that's all fine and dandy. But, you know, you've met the one you messed up you know yeah see ten of cups and the four of swords and the tower it's really hitting this person leo that they're not going to find peace again until they make this right with you you know this is someone that misses cuddling with you being with you um and again, Leo, again, what is that four of swords? That four of swords is a healed environment. It's an environment where someone can come in and come out of fight or flight mode. Do you understand? It's an energy of feeling safe with somebody. Do you understand? And they, at that point in time, when you guys were together, this person may have felt bored with that. Do you understand? Like, 
This bitch ain't fighting with me, yelling, screaming, trying to run me over with their car. Like, Leo, maybe, you know, there was a point in your life where you were like that. You know what I'm saying? Where, you know, your person would have caught some hands or caught a smack a bitch 3,000. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like you're you're grown now. You know, you're stepping into your power and, and you're just wanting, like, you know, a happy and peaceful home life, you know? And, you know, I, I feel like... Ver I don't know if I want to say Cancer Virgo or Leo. Leo, this is somebody that it's hitting them. Do you understand that they're in love with you? They don't know how it happened. They don't know how you made your way into their heart. They don't know how this happened to them, but they love you. Okay, they love you. Um, all right, we're going to clarify with my deck, Spirit Shield Tarot. Okay. Spirit, tell me about the Queen of Wands here for Leo and the justice card you see this person is realizing that you are the one that they actually want to do right by you know that they're realizing here that because you follow your own rules you know you have set boundaries for yourself and you're not playing if this person doesn't respect you or treat you right there's the door god bless god bless you understand um because of the way that you carry yourself and stand up for yourself you know what i'm saying it's like i don't know what it was but somehow this you got this person to fall in love tell me about the four of pentacles here and the three of swords this person didn't realize how much it would hurt losing you they don't want to admit it with that four of pentacles energy they're keeping it to themselves but this person is actually heartbroken over an ending that they caused I, I don't i can't make sense of it either okay i just work here please do not yell at me but this is somebody that literally antagonized an ending because they felt that the relationship with you is boring or they felt like they didn't want to be in a healthy relationship so they antagonized and manipulated an ending so that you guys would slowly drift apart and they broke their own heart by doing this Page of Swords and the Page of Swords. I, I feel like it might be a friend that is seeing your person go through this difficult time and they're just going to be like, listen, let me make your life easy, okay? You've met the one. You have met the one. Tell me about this Page of Swords and the King of Swords. You see, this is somebody that is delivering a truth, okay? A very harsh truth. Six, <laughs> six of Wands and the Hierophant. You want to know why you're stressed? With the Nine of Swords, let me tell you why you're stressed out and crying. Because somehow or some way, Leo crept into your heart and you have met the one. And instead of giving the one the love and the respect and the commitment that they deserve, you decided with the Seven of Swords and the Strength card to pull away, to pull away and be deceptive deceptive and be stupid do you understand and now you're crying because you hurt yourself leo when you love someone to this extent they become a part of you so when this person cut you out of their life it was like they cut a piece of themselves out do you understand tell me about the ten of cups here for leo and the lover's card adam even the snake so leo the lover's card talks about, am I going to accept this gift from God or am I going to give in to the devil and take that temptation? And Leo, this person gave in to temptation. They refused to see, because like I said, you're sitting in Empress energy, Leo. Four swords and the Empress. You have been through hell and back to heal yourself, to have uh, you, your energy is one of healing and calmness. You're, you're uh, controlled emotionally. You're a master manifester right now. You're trying to just build in life. Don't forget what the emperor stands for, Leo. The emperor stands for someone that gives birth to new life through tremendous pain. So Leo, it's not that you haven't been through it. You have, do you understand? But you're trying to start a new life for yourself. You're trying to handle things in a different way, coming from a peaceful, recovered, healthy way. Do you understand? And this person, on the other hand, sees a beautiful soul tie, sees a gift from God, and chooses the devil over that gift from God. They chose temptation. They chose to go towards the toxicity, then that peaceful Garden of Eden. Do you understand what I'm saying? And they're realizing that that was a mistake. They didn't realize it would hurt this much. They didn't realize it would hurt this much. <coughs> 
We got the Page of Wands. We got the Star card and the Ace of Wands. Leo, they're coming back around. They, they need to, they're just surrendering to how they, they're, they're finally going to surrender to how their heart feels. They're going to surrender to the fact that they are, you know what I'm saying, in love with you. And, and it just is what it is, you know. Tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo, please. We have Storm Warning and Spiritual Awakening. So, Leo, this is what I'm talking about. You maybe have... <sighs> You have experienced so much drama and so many obstacles and so much upheaval in your life that you are enlightened. You have gone through a rebirth. You are on your spiritual journey. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I feel like you're doing everything in your power to get away from anyone that distracts you from that path of peace. We've got abrupt ending. You will. Your cutoff game is... You will cut a bitch off so fast. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Your cutoff game is nothing to mess with right now. Okay? You cut this person off very quickly, but I feel like there's unfinished business here. Okay? This wasn't supposed to end between you guys. You, This is a situation that got cut off very quickly. I, I, I feel like as soon as you started to see the red flags, because you see with power and manipulation, you're too strong to be manipulated. You're, you're sitting in a very powerful energy. You're sitting in an empress's throne. Leo, listen, you've been through, you've touched the deepest pits of hell and came back. You are in, in what, is, what is it called? Unfuckable with? That's what you are right now. You are a force to be reckoned with. You, people can try to manipulate you and you're going to, all these fingers are going to end up broken. You're, you're not, you're too powerful right now. You're sitting too high in an ascended energy to allow your uh, allow that type of energy around you. Okay, it's not gonna look epiphany, realizations, understandings, and awakenings. And you've got awakening here, uh, Leo. For many of you, you have been spiritually awakened, and you're not going to allow anyone to distract you from your path. It's just not gonna happen. You can try, but you'll fail. Okay. <clears throat> tell me about leo please we have the six of pentacles and we have the two of swords i'm telling you leo you are not sitting in an energy where you are going to give to situations that don't serve your highest good king of swords and the strength card even if you love someone look the two of cups here the king of swords and the strength card even if you are in love with somebody even if you feel a soul tie with this person you will cut them off with the king of swords energy with the strength card the strength card can talk about wanting something really bad but listening to your angels listening to your spirit team listening to the divine and removing yourself from the situation you are not to be you are a force to be reckoned with right now okay because if if you <clears throat> you have <clears throat> you are on this journey of epiphany of understanding that what's meant for you is meant for you and what isn't isn't okay and if if someone comes around trying to manipulate your energy and gaslight you into toxic behavior patterns you're going to release it immediately and i feel like the person on this side that's exactly what they love to do. They love to gaslight toxic behavior from their partner and they couldn't do that with you. They couldn't, because uh, again, you're sitting in Empress Energy, Leo, okay? You're sitting in Empress Energy. And let me tell you something, with the Three of Swords and the Seven of Cups, you have been through some shit, okay? There has been so many people in your life that have betrayed you and stabbed you in the back and hurt you that you have... <clears throat> you could have went two ways with this Leo. You could have chosen the right path, which is what you did choose. Or you could have chosen to just take that hurt and pain and go off and cause other people hurt and pain. But instead, you decided to heal yourself and find somebody that is also sitting in a healed energy and live out the rest of your life in peace. Do you understand? 
So Leo, you're, you're just not, you know, the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Um, you're looking for stability. You know, life is hard enough as it is with this Ten of Wands energy. You have a lot on your plate. You've got a lot of shit that you have to accomplish in a day and you need stability in your life. Okay, if someone says that they're going to be there at 730 and then they cancel on you at 745 after you've taken all that time to get ready and do whatever, you're just done with it because obviously you don't respect what I have to do in a day. And if I'm taking time out of my life to give you the time and energy and respect to get myself ready for you and then you cancel 15 minutes after you're supposed to be there, you are not for me. No one is going to upset my energy in that way. Leo, your, your cutoff game is unreal right now. Okay, it's unreal right now. And no, you're not going to yell. You're not going to scream. You're not going to curse. You're just never going to talk to this person again. Do you understand? Because your time is precious right now. Tell me about the two of swords here for Leo and the world card. You've learned your lessons, Leo. You're cu you cut this person. Five of pentacles. Listen, you are not five of pentacles to the six of pentacles. You have a lot to give and you have a lot to offer. My Venus is in Leo and my rising is in Leo. And when a Leo loves, they really put their whole heart out there. Okay. They really give a Leo that is in love. Some of you may say, oh, I've been with a Leo and they weren't shit. Okay. Well, they weren't in love with you then. I'm just going to, that's the harsh truth, okay? When a Leo is in love with you, okay? When a Leo is in love with you, there is nothing that a Leo, they will go to, 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 to the moon and back to give you what it is that you want and need. Leos have the biggest hearts. A Leo would be the first sign that I would say would give their life to protect the person that they love, Okay. So Leo, you know what you bring to the table and you know what you have to offer. And I feel like this person tried playing a game with you, a manipulating game, and you world card, been there, done that. We're shutting this door, moving on. Next, you know what I'm saying? You did not tolerate it. Your cutoff game was quick with this person. King of Swords here with the Knight of Swords. Uh, you are not... <sighs> How do I want to put it? You get tempted with the Knight of Swords energy to go back to your old routine of, you know, begging and chasing and pleading for someone to love you. Because don't forget here, Two of Cups and the Two of Cups. Leo, you loved this person. You were falling in love with this person. You felt that soul tie. So there was an energy of you wanting to chase and beg. But with that King of Swords energy, you stayed strong and just cut it off. The Strength card and the Seven of Wands. Yep, you said, nope, I'm not. Like you may have written this long text message and then just deleted it. Do you see what I'm saying? With the Wheel of Fortune here and the Ten of Wands, Leo, especially with you sitting in Empress Energy, you have a lot going on in your life right now. You know, you could be really focused on your career, really focused on building something new. You know, if you're a single parent, you're really focused on your children, really focused on wanting to buy a house, start a 401k, build your future. Like you're really focused on shit right now, okay? And I feel like with the Empress and the Wheel of Fortune, your blessings are coming in, but <clears throat> Again, with that Ten of Wands energy, Leo, you know, you have a lot on your plate. You're very overwhelmed. And when someone tells you that they're going to be there or do something, you need stability in your life. The Knight of Pentacles here with the chariot. Yeah. Like if you say you're going to do it, then I need you to show up. Like I, you know, you're looking for someone that is going to complement your life, not take from it. Do you understand? Not take from it. And you're not going to settle for anything less. You're not going to settle for anything less. I feel like with the chariot and the knight of pentacles, Leo, you have a very long overdue apology coming in for you. I do feel the emperor is who drives the chariot, right? So I do feel like this person is taking control of the situation and stepping up to the plate and going, coming in to pursue you. Tell me about this knight of pentacles and the chariot with the queen of swords and temperance. You will protect your peace at all costs, Leo. I'm telling you right now with the knight of pentacles, it's going to take this person quite a while to get through to you because you they've already shown you signs 
sense of toxicity. So they're not going to be able to get in easy with you this time. I feel like you're sitting in an energy where everyone gets a chance with you. And if you fuck up that chance, now it's going to be 10 times harder for them to come around and get a second chance with you. So I feel like Leo, you got the Knight of Pentacles here twice. This person is going to have to prove that they are stable and that they are serious with what they're saying because you are very protective of your peace right now. You're very overprotective of your peace and, and you are not going to allow anyone to put you in a negative energy. It's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Okay, so let's, because I'm seeing very strong soul tie cards here. The Wheel of Fortune is a divine soulmate in a love reading. Two of Cups is a soulmate energy. The Lovers is a soulmate energy, okay? So let's see here, um, Leo, let's take it into the extended. Is this your forever person? You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm seeing unfinished business here twice also. Unfinished business and unfinished business. Is this person coming back to you in divine timing? Is this, in fact, your forever person? if you trust this person again what is going to happen or is there something different is there a different direction that you are meant to go in okay the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below i love you guys so much and i will see you there take care my darlings